Hello and welcome to The Yak, the Young Adult Connection. My name is Jeremiah Gray. I am your host and we have some amazing lessons, topics, and most of all conversations in store for you. So we thank you for joining us, spending this time with us, and we want you to uh, engage, to learn, to grow, and explore our world, explore our Savior as we grow together here with the young adults at the St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the Young Adult Connection, our YAC ministry at St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church, 4200 Lockwood, where Reverend Dr. Stan Hilliard is our pastor. Our pastor has envisioned our church reaching and connecting with young people ages 18 to 35. Now, even though that's our targeted uh, age group, anyone is welcome to share with us here on our Facebook page. Uh, we certainly want to encourage you to respond, uh, to leave your, uh, your ideas, your input, your, your questions, even your criticisms. We want to hear from you here on our Facebook page. We are ever so grateful to have you. I'm Sonny Adolph. And indeed, we are grateful to be an associate minister here with Dr. Hilliard. Ever so grateful to, to be a part of uh, the assignment uh, to reach to out to our young adults. Again, please leave us your questions, your comments. Uh, we'd be happy to, to respond to you right here on our Facebook page. We look forward to having dialogue with you. Our attempt is not just this 15-minute segment on Saturday mornings at 9 o'clock. We actually like to have dialogue with you throughout the week. As a matter of fact, even if you want to go back and make comments on previous uh, lessons that we've offered at this time, we certainly welcome your comments. We welcome your input. Uh, we Again, we look forward to having dialogue in particular with persons 18 to 35 years of age, not limited to those, those ages, this age group, but certainly looking forward to making connection, if you will, with our young adults. Amen, amen, amen. This week, we want to continue our talk about faith. Uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about about faith from the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews, where we tried to tell you about, we are enabled by faith to see the invisible, to choose the imperishable, and to do the impossible. This week, we wanna take a look at faith and encouragement. Have you ever been discouraged? Amen, amen, man. Life can throw you some curves. Life can throw you some surprises. And even though you thought that your faith was strong, indeed, you can be knocked, we pray, to your knees. Uh, amen. To where you would join Jehoshaphat, the, the main character in our lesson today. From Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 15. Amen. Je Jehoshaphat was a descendant of King David and king of the southern kingdom of Israel called Judah. Um, the, the people of God uh, had the tendency of crying out to him when they were in trouble. And as soon as their trouble was over, they'd go back to doing the kinds of stuff that got them in trouble in the first place. Uh, but here in this particular segment of their history, uh, Jehoshaphat is known as a good king. He is one who seeks the Lord. He's known as a reformer. And it is during his reign that we even got those wonderful words that Yolanda Adams put to song, that the battle is not yours. 
uh, the battle is the Lord's. That, that all comes from the experiences Jehoshaphat had while leading the people of Judah, the southern kingdom of Israel. But this morning, we want to encourage you. Amen. For that's what verse 20 of uh, verse 15 of the 20th chapter of 2 Chronicles does. There, Jehoshaphat encourages the people of God. He encourages the people of God. What do you do when trouble comes? Do you know oftentimes um, that we, we, we need to be encouraged? Not only do we need to be encouraged, others around us need to be encouraged. And the way we encourage one another uh, uh, is, by in, is by seeking to boost one another's faith. And first of all, one of the things we got to deal with about faith is oftentimes we think the opposite of faith is doubt. And eh, wrong answer. The real opposite of faith is fear. Oftentimes, we don't do what we are supposed to do. We don't obey the word of God out of fear. And there's a bunch of things we can fear that can hinder our faith. I got good news for you, though. Faith displaces fear, and fear can displace faith. In other words, they can't live in the same container at the same time. One gets rid of the other. And since we can be so fearful, oftentimes we literally need to be encouraged. And what encouragement does is it bolsters and boosts our faith. We ought to encourage one another's faith. Amen. We ought to encourage one another's faith. I, I won't ever forget my life's, one of my life's greatest encouragers was my mom. Mom didn't know nothing about sports. She cared. She didn't care anything about football or basketball or baseball. But Lord have mercy, let me have a game. And who was in the stands? My mom. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Mama would be there to root me on. She was there to encourage me. Yep, when I struck out, she was there to encourage me. Yep, when I missed the free throws, she was there to encourage me. When I missed the block as an offensive lineman, Mama was there to encourage me. Now, I'm going to tell you about something, something about encouraging others. When you encourage others, when you seek to boost the faith of others, there's something that happens that can be downright surprising. Sometimes as we seek to encourage others, we actually speak the words that we need to encourage our own faith. Mm -hmm. Sometimes while we seek to encourage others' faith, we actually speak the words that we need to hear ourselves. When we tell other folk about trusting God, as we tell other folks about fully relying on God, you'd be surprised, man, how oftentimes as we seek to encourage others that we are encouraged ourselves. As we seek to encourage others, you'd be surprised how we can be encouraged ourselves. There are four things we need to know about faith and encouragement in this text. One is King Jehoshaphat uh, was indeed devoted to God. He loved God. And he put uh, some things in place for Judah that displayed his love for God. He actually invited the kingdom 
to turn to God in prayer. Amen, amen. Now, by the way, if you want your faith bolstered, I dare you to pray. Amen. Now, by the way, prayer is not giving God commands. Prayer is, instead of seeking to have our own will and our own way, prayer is about our surrendering our way to God. Amen. Amen. Our turning to God in prayer is not so that we can have our will, so we can have what we want, but we want to look for what he wants. Amen. And you'd be surprised that when you want what he wants, you get what you want. Amen. When you want what he wants, you'll get what you want. Amen. 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 Oftentimes, we want stuff that's not what he wants. And so we have to surrender our will to pray like Jesus. Not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. And then our prayer turns to praise. Amen. Before we even get what we ask for, you can go ahead and start praising him. That is, when you want what he wants, before you even get it, you can go and start praising the Lord. You can go and start giving him praise. And you'll be surprised, amen, how encouraging it is when we seek to bolster the faith of others, when we offer encouragement to others. As a matter of fact, that's why we gather together as a church family. That's why we gather together as believers. We are gathering together so that we can encourage one another, so that we can bolster one another's faith, so that we can see the invisible so that we can choose the imperishable and ultimately so that we'll be able to do the impossible. Well, my time is up and we pray the Lord to hear from you. Leave your messages right here on our Facebook page. Give us your comments. Give us your input. We're glad to have you. And until next week, we pray the Lord that you be blessed. We thank you for joining us here with the Young Adult Connection. We hope this topic, this conversation was beneficial and impactful for you. We hope that you would join us here at the St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church on the 4200 block of Lockwood. You can find all of our information on the website. I hope you check it out and join us back again for the next time with the Young Adult Connection.